वेलकम टू एस एफ डी सी मधुकर माय नेम इज आशीष मधुकर आई एम ए सेल्स फॉर डेवलपर यू कैन कनेक्ट मी ऑल्सो लिंकड इन एंड ट्विटर विथ नेम ऑफ आशीष मधुकर टू डेट आवर टॉपिक इज वॉट इज द सेल्स फॉर सेल्स फैक्टर Let's go on our next slide. So this is the sales force inspector, and this is the logo. Okay. What is sales force inspector basically? So sales force inspector is a tool which enable to us view field details, import and export operation from record details page in sales force. It is an an extension. For Google Chrome and Firefox, Salesforce Inspector is a accessed above the force.com side side menu. Okay, so I will show you how you how it will be look like and everything in a Salesforce. So what are the feature in the Salesforce? Feature in Salesforce Inspector so fill metadata, org limits. Download metadata, expose API, so all data, data export and import. Okay. So let's start. How we can get and install in the Salesforce. So let's go in the Salesforce. So this is the Salesforce. Just log in in Salesforce first. Okay. After log in. Just go in the Google Chrome and type Salesforce Inspector. Salesforce Inspector. Google Chrome extension. Okay. So this is the first link. Just click on this link and see a uh, logo. This is logo. Okay. And just I have already added in my Google Chrome. So here, when you click on the first time, then it will be asked add Google Chrome. Okay. So after adding here, go in the Salesforce and just refresh. Okay. After refreshing, here in the right side, one icon you can see here. This is this icon. Okay. It's showing a small arrow icon, and when you click on that, that it will be open like this. Okay. So what are the operation we can do? What we have already told on the, you know, in the first slide. Just I'm opening here the account tab. Let's click on the Google extension Chrome. So first, data export, data import. And org limit, metadata API, explore API, and setup. So let's go first one by first type is, uh, is object. Okay. So how we can export the data, basically. Okay. So just this is my all the account. Okay. Just click on the export. Here, I want to export my all account. Okay. Click, select. You can write as a color query. Okay. Let me uh, first uh, remove all this thing. Now, just type select ID, comma name from account. Okay. So everything suggestion all the uh, uh, what are the object in your sales force? It will be so here. Okay. So for example, uh. Many fields in your object, and you don't know about the API name. So just click comma, and see here in the right side one I icon. Okay, here so field info in account object. Just click. See here all the objects, uh, all the fields in the system uh, in your system. It will show here. Okay, so this we can show, and here also new. Export more options there. Okay, so 
and when you click on the fields you can search also for example account name so you can search the fields here okay so let's go again back our in the sales force and you can also check here directly okay comma and just refresh and click on the plus here on the right side we have the plus icon just click on the plus icon see here also it will show all our fields so you can use you can select uh, if you don't remember that field name okay so let me type the here industry also and now this is button export okay just click on the export see here how many record in their right side showing you can here 50 records okay so you can export your data in this three format first one copy in excel copy in csv copy in json format you can copy data export for example i'm copying in the excel okay just copy and open your excel file here Just click on blank and just paste here see here all data is coming in the uh, excel file in a within a second you have export all the data in excel format okay same like you can do in a csv file you can do in json format as well okay so this type we can do in the same we can export up uh, export and after that we can import the data okay just click on the import so here i have option multi excel in the sales force insert update absurd and delete okay let me do insert the record which object you can select all the object here it will showing here but you can select which object you want to insert the data basically so i'm inserting the data in an account so here two format you can upload your data in a excel format or you can csv format okay let me do in i'm doing in excel format okay just copy here type here so i'm giving the name here basically okay so type here though here ap whatever column you can give here or but you need to be match your column in the sales force when you opening okay so after that let me type here uh, uh type here type field let me give the name of ashish okay and type something i'm giving the uh i remember type let me check the data and type in sales force basically okay here i'm not given the name so i remember the field name just let me i remember the rating field name so let's remove this and type here the uh, rating with bold type another name you test uh m you type here hot okay let me to insert only two data just copy this data here okay and go to your sales push inspector please sorry sales person is better as well okay one just paste here see fill automatic mapped okay when your api name gives if not mapped then just type here okay go and type your fill api name here rating type here okay just here by side 200 okay you can improve increase the back size also okay 2300 how uh, till 2000 you can increase this okay here the thread you can run multiple thread okay when the large amount of data just click on the import and just click on import so here it will show one data uh, table here name what are your field name status id action and error if your data is inserted successfully so then here action you will send the inserted and id also showing here and status succeed when any error coming so then it will be shown the here error how we can open this record okay you can copy this and 
let me copy duplicate this and just going here and salesforce okay so i have already an account so let me check my data is swing or not it's not saying just click on the all account it's not showing so let me open any record and paste record id here and just see so what i have the given the name okay ashish name m and in the rating i have given the code here in the code okay so you can insert the multiple data in a in a in a minute basically okay so let's do another part here org limit so what are the org limit in the salesforce okay then it will be showing the one basically dashboard so you can see all your org limit in a one place active stress or so in org how many stress are 40 but i zero com consume okay so it will show everything analytic and external data stay here you can check data storage total of the five i consume i'm two left now 60 percent i have consumed here is file storage 60 percent i have consumed everything it will show here <coughs> okay so you can check your org limit in a one place using this tool basically it's very uh, useful tool and it will be improve your productivity when you are using this tool okay so let's go another part here this is the most important download metadata it means what are the metadata in your salesforce you can get in a package.xml if you are developers, you go, you know about the package.xml. Package.xml we are using for deployment uh, and uh, VS Code for exporting the data from Salesforce to our local server. Basically. Okay. Click here. See all the select field, label, static resource, control, search, message channel, LWC, Aura, components, pages, queue, Apex classes, everything whatever available in your salesforce org okay you can get your package.xml here download metadata it's taking when you click on this it will be take five to ten minutes for downloading this metadata but you click and download this metadata and use for that which okay so this is this is very useful uh, uh tool according to my opinion i am very uh, useful this uh, tool and i also improve my productivity uh, large amount of data 10000 one lakh data i am import in a, in a minute in a second i don't doing the manual okay in a salesforce or using the data loader is very complex to uh, uh, data loader also sometimes okay when you are not an, uh, aware, 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 aware about this uh, uh, data loader, okay? So you can use this tool because when you are used to this tool, okay? So you can improve your productivity. You can do everything in a second and a minute, okay? Last one here is the Explore API, okay? What about the API in the Salesforce? Eastern? okay you can use here basically okay so everyone know about the services data after this api and after that the whatever the url name here gain you okay so you can how you can check this url okay just click for example last one i'm clicking here. just click on that the, all the metadata declare folder json format everything it will be so here okay raw json raw copy status everything will show here okay so this is the basically your api explorer you can see your api uh, standard api in a salesforce whatever the rest api basically okay here also the rest api documentation when you click here so it will be open the new type for your uh, salesforce 
REST API introduction, API and everything. Okay. So this is very important and useful tool in a Salesforce ecosystem. Okay. If you want to use, you can use here. Yeah, I have uh, checked only one insert. You can use the update. You can use the delete, delete also. Let me do the delete operation here. Uh, this is my, okay. This is my one record. Let me just copy this ID. Go in the sales for, uh, in uh, Excel type ID and paste my ID. Okay. I paste my ID, just copy. And when you copy, then you just paste in the, okay. I have pasted here. When you click on the import, then your record is, is something going the error, okay? Means ID is not correct, okay? That's why it's getting error. Go to Excel for, in Excel. Here you're showing the name, okay? Means your ID is not correct. That's why it's not able to be uh, uh, deleted. Go again, copy this, okay? And paste here again. <clears throat> now ID is showing this correct. Just click on import and import. It's again something going the malware bad ID. Okay. So that's why it's showing the error. So here you can see your data ID. Okay. This fill here, this ID. This mapping is not my column. Okay. So when you can map this field ID and you can delete the data basically. Okay, you can delete the data, you can update the data. Whatever you want, you can do here in the ecosystem, uh, in a ecosystem, Salesforce ecosystem using this tool basically. Okay, so we will see you uh, next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Take care.